Hello friends and welcome to another tutorial on Geeks for Geeks. In this video, we are going to understand the program which finds camel case of a given sentence. First, let us take some examples. Given a sentence, our task is to remove spaces from the sentence and write in camel case. Camel case is a style of writing where we don't have spaces and all words begin with capital letters. Next, let us have a look at the approach. A simple solution is to traverse sentence one by one, remove spaces by moving subsequent characters one position back and changing first case or first character to capital. An efficient solution is that we traverse the given string and while traversing, we copy non-space character to result and whenever we encounter space, we ignore it and change next letter to capital. Next, let us have a look at the algorithm. We take a sample string i m and pass it to convert function. In the convert function, we store the length of str in integer n and take a res int integer variable initialized to 0. Next, we run a for loop from 0 to n. So first, i will be 0 and str at i is the letter i. Since s of i is not a space, we go to the else part and set s of res int plus plus to s of i. Since it is post increment we are using, res int will be incremented after copying. We continue with the for loop and now i will be 1 and s of i is a space. As s of i a space, the if condition gets satisfied and we convert s of i plus 1 that is a to uppercase. We continue with the for loop and now i will be 2 and s of i is the letter a. As it is not a space, we go to the else part and set s of 1 to s of i. After this, res int will be 2 for the next iteration. We continue with the for loop and now i will be 3 and s of i is m. Since it is not a space, we set s of 2 to m. Now res int will become 3 and we break out of the for loop. Outside the for loop, we set s of res int to a null character denoting the end of the string. So, we have the final string converted to camel case and we return it to the main function and print it. We have the final output. With this, we come to an end of this tutorial. For any doubts or suggestions, please leave them in the comment section below. Thank you for watching.